just has to be nearby and you go like this and it unlocks the car. Fancy. Yeah, I'm into that. Hi, my name is Reve and I'm an arriver. Um, today I drove a Honda HRV. Right off the bat, I didn't really have any like pre-judgments about Honda. Um, I do really actually like the design of this car. It's got kind of like an angry face. It's the face. angry, sophisticated face. Yeah, like watch out world. One of the things that I really thought was really cool about the car are these um, handles on oh, the back door. That's kind of cool. Um, I'm not super into like smaller cars. And I like to be higher up because I like to feel like I'm in charge. Oh. Being in this car kind of made you feel like a little bit higher up. This is definitely a car that you can haul stuff in. For a smaller car, it had a lot of trunk space. The seat fold in a bunch of different ways. This actually comes up. And then when you push this down, it locks it into place. So you have all this extra room down here too. Oh, oh. Oh my gosh, this is jammed in my back. I'm not really down with this back seat, it is not comfortable. I'll just stand outside the car. Oh yeah, the driver's seat's nice. Um, driving the car was an okay experience. Woo! It handles curbs well. There's no pickup in the car. This was one of the notes we had um, and we kind of joked about. It turns yellow and you punch it and nothing happens. This car will <laughs> give you tickets! The car makes a lot of noise when you press on the gas, like that. Um, but there's no, there's no pickup to back it up. Look at Matt. Woo! We're gonna test out the airbags. Yeah. Did he say this one is all-wheel drive? Yeah, this one's all-wheel drive. So that would be like nice in the winter. That is nice in the winter. Um, there's a lot of bells and whistles. This is a definitely an upgraded version, which kind of as a driver can be a little bit overwhelming. Look, you have all this here for like radio and stuff. Then you have cruise control and then you have to go down here for the phone. And then they have paddle shifters too. Oh, your USB thing is all the way down here. Uh, down here is the aux plug-in. So if you wanted to charge your phone or anything, as a driver, you have to reach all the way down here to charge your phone. And when you're driving, there's no armrest. You have to go like this and now Bill and I are touching and it's awesome. That's not, that's not gonna work. Unless you're like a lean back driver, it doesn't, it doesn't really work. One thing I really did like about this car that was easy to use was the functions here uh, for controlling the air, um, the seat warmers as well. This was all really easy to use. It's all touch screen. We could not for the life of us get our Bluetooth hooked up to it. Okay, it will not connect your phone. So that's bougie. Once we get on the highway, I'll test the radio and you guys will tell me how safe you really feel. Oh. On the scale of one to jam out car, it is a one. one. When I was doing the radio, I will tell you that it's not, you have to like get used to it. Overall, I am kind of a fan, kind of not a fan. As an arriver, it will definitely get you to your destination. It's gonna get me to where I'm going, so that's a good thing.